a month away from a move, but I'm packing now. My place is a mess, but it is what it is. And yes, my mirror is facing my bed. Yes, I know that's a bad thing probably. Doing my content a little different these days. I wanna start doing my content a little bit different because if, if I gotta sit in front of this phone and answer questions, which I love doing, I love answering questions and like giving advice, even if it's bad advice. So if, if this is bad advice, sorry in advance. But like, I love uh, talking to you guys, but I have a whole day that I need to be doing stuff. And there are times where I will sit in front of this phone and just be talking to y'all. So y'all are gonna have to just join me for my day. That, that's the way you're gonna earn the answer to this question. I'm holding y'all hostage, how about that? I got one egg, y'all, just one. <laughs> All right, let's let's answer this question. Can you give suggestions for when people smile on your face but share your stuff behind back? I can't ever prove it, but get feelings later on. So first of all, I'm assuming since you asked this question on a planting dud video that maybe you might like want a dud for this or like a way to find out for sure if somebody is talking trash about you behind your back even though they're smiling in your face. Or maybe you planted a dud with them and they are not violating that boundary with you directly, but they're doing it behind your back. Like, I need a better idea of context for this question. So I'm gonna assume that your question is how to prove that the person who's smiling in your face is sharing stuff about you behind your back. Just give them bad intel. Allow me to elaborate on bad intel. What I mean when I say bad intel is just something that's not important. It does not have to be a lie. If you don't feel comfortable lying, do not lie. But if you're comfortable lying, go ahead and give them a lie. The main objective is to make sure that this information that you give them is very distinct so that when it gets back to you, you will recognize it. And the only reason I'm saying when is because everybody talks about everybody. I know that sounds very pessimistic, but it's actually not. I had to make peace with that a long time ago. I never plant duds to see if people are talking about me behind my back. I just assume everybody is. And that's another thing that keeps my oversharing in check. I don't say anything to anyone that I don't expect to hear back at some point from someone else. The main reason that I plant duds is to see who would try to directly hurt me like if I tell them something they're going to throw it in my face but if somebody's talking about me behind my back there's really nothing I can do about it. it's not my business to be honest and maybe that's why my life is a mess is because I don't care enough what people say about me behind my back but I enjoy the peace of knowing that that's God's business that that's is out is outside of my pay range I got enough demons to fight and every time I've tried to clear my name from somebody talking trash about me, I've always made it worse. I always make, that's how I know it's out of my pay grade. I am not, I was not trained to do that job. So personally, as far as I'm concerned, those are not the kind of duds that I like to plant. If you've heard anything bad about me, it's probably true. Guilty as charged. Anyway, back to the video. I don't know if this has to do with my age, but personally, if I already had that gut feeling, I just assume that that's what's happening. And if I already assume that's what's happening, I treat the person very openly in a way that lets me know I do not trust them. If they ask me for information that is not pertinent to them, I will let them know this information is not for you. I don't even plant good duds with these people. I will, just, I will plant the worst dud possible. Okay, funny story. There was this girl that I absolutely had no respect for because I found out she was awful. And so I had ran into her while I was with a friend of mine who was a guy. Platonic friend, we were not in any kind of relationship. However, I knew that with this particular girl, if she even sees you with a guy, she's spreading rumors all around campus. So she saw me with this guy and um, I introduced him to her as Unscrucious. That's what I told her his name was. And this particular guy did not bat an eye. And I'm so, th I knew he wouldn't because he was my friend and, I, and he knows how I am. But yeah, I knew she knew that was not his name. And, um, you know, <laughs> if I don't, if I don't respect you, I, you, yeah, you're not going to get a good dud. You're going to get a, a terrible dud. Like I am petty and I need you to know that I don't trust you. Okay. Anyway, back to the story. After a while, you just, you have to accept that some people are going to say stuff and you know, that that's just who they are. That's their character. So yeah, your gut is already giving you the information that you need. You can continue to try and outsource your intuition or you can rely on your gut and just make sure you don't say anything around this person that could incriminate you if, if you're doing anything that 
would be incriminating. Incriminating. One thing that I want to emphasize when it comes to the dud test, for me, I, I'm planting duds to make sure that, that that person is not going to violate direct boundaries with me. There's but so much somebody can try to do to destroy my character behind my back. And they may be, you know, successful in doing that. But at the end of the day, if they're able to sway public opinion about me and there's nothing I can do about it, then I gotta just accept the fact that there's nothing I can do about that. And it sounds like it sucks, but it's actually quite freeing. Just be you and understand that if somebody don't like you because someone else told them something about you, sounds like a, a weekend to me. Also, when it comes personally to people talking stuff about me behind my back, sometimes people need to vent, you know what I'm saying? So sometimes they need a Lizzie B with getting on my goddamn nerves today. Sometimes they need that. I'm not gonna deny a person the opportunity to be able to, you know, let it all out, whatever. So yeah, I hope that answers your question. Long story short, trust your intuition. Don't say anything around this person that you think would be harmful to you if they share behind your back. Um, and if you want to uh, plant false information with them, you can do that too. But the key is to always go with your gut. Okay, so back to the move. I have been getting ready to get everything together so that I can move. Where I'm moving is still very much up in the air. However, I like to stay ready, so I want to get ready. And there are a few th things that I dislike more than moving, so I try to make sure that my moving process is as smooth as humanly possible. That's why I give myself as much time as I need. Additionally, things have been very stressful for my furry daughter because I've had to take her to the vet more than once this week. And if you've seen any of the TikToks I've made about her, you'll know that she is very antisocial. Bye. Okay, I said bye. Bye. Okay. The f Regardless, we are both having to embrace our discomfort, which is actually a good thing. We need to, you know, we're, we're very comfortable. We, me and her, we stay comfortable. So anyway, if you've not already left, you are free from being held hostage to my video. Have a great day. And if you need any moving tips, I'm actually, I'm actually pretty good at this. I do this, you know what I'm saying? So yeah, uh, like, subscribe, comment. See you next time.